company so you can live better. MSU Hockey Club, the 2013 ACHA Men's Division I National Champions. Visit us online at msubeaverhockey.com or on Facebook and Twitter. Western Pacific Crane and Equipment, the authorized dealer for Manitowoc, Grove, and National Crane. The Center for Extended Learning. Our mission is to provide flexible, accessible, and quality lifelong learning opportunities. All-American Trophies. Established in 1983, located on South Broadway for all your trophy and screen printing needs. The Pita Pit. Sandwiches, soup, and salad. Fresh thinking, healthy eating. Art Main. Women's clothing, accessories, and art supplies. Located on Main Street. Midwest Oil Jobs brings employers, retailers, and other professionals from the Midwest under one roof to connect like-minded individuals. Creative Property Management. Over 45 years of experience in managing properties and helping tenants find the right home. MSU Athletic Department, NCAA Division II, promoting good character and a positive experience. Red Rising. MSU Red and Green. Monarch State University's official student-run newspaper. Digital Office Center. Offices located in Minot and Bismarck. Provides the complete line of Xerox equipment, supplies, and services. Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. Located on South Broadway across from Walmart. Be seen, be heard on the Alshire, Black Box, and Amphitheater stages. MSU Theater, where we tell the world's stories. MSU Art Department, stimulating creativity campus-wide by providing exhibitions and art events. Fiance Bridal, located downtown Minot, and now you can shop online. NDAD, help for people with disabilities and health challenges. Pepsi of Minot, the local Pepsi Cola bottling company serving the North Dakota areas of Minot, Dickinson, Devil's Lake, Botno, and Hedinger. Rick Jewelry, where you'll shimmer and shine. Watney Realtors, a full-service real estate agency handling residential, commercial, and investment properties. Spicy Pie, pizza, grinders, beer, located in the Beaver Ridge Plaza. RL, specializes in creating custom-made vintage mod children's and baby clothes. Happy Joe's Pizza and Ice Cream, good time to be together. KCJB AM, 910 AM. Minot News and Information Station. KIVZFM Z94, Minot's only station for today's hit music. 97 Kicks FM, today's hot new country. KZPR FM, Minot's rock station, 105.3 The Fox. KMXA FM, Minot's best music mix, Mix 99.9. SOS Image, improving the health and self esteem of every client. Grizzlies, the place for wood fried food, friends, and family. Everybody. Welcome to another edition of MSU Inside Out. I'm your host, Juan. And I'm your co-host, Kyler Elm. Uh, we got a few great packages for us today on the show. We have our weekly Ward on the Street segment. We have an upcoming play, which is titled Miss Julie. And we have the Catholic Campus Ministries, which is a, a group of students from Minot State that get together at a, a church here, or a school, I'm sorry, uh, and they talk about everything Catholic. So, Not only that, we have a lot of guests. Uh, we have Cody Dukes, he's the captain of the golf team. Dan Hansen, he's going to be talking about the sixth annual Beardstock. And uh, Nikki is here with us from SGA. She's going to be talking about some upcoming events on campus. And uh, we actually have uh, news coming up here. Liana, it looks like you have uh, one, of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite packages on the show, Ward on the Street. I do, right away. Let's start it off with that. Students can be found with headphones on all across the MSU campus. This week, Ward and Chris report on what students are listening to in various campus settings.
Internet, more than the street. Hashtag Throwback Thursday. Today, we're bringing you What Cautions Are Listening To, aka Thomas Jams. Hey, excuse me, buddy. Do you mind if we just ask you uh, what you listen to here? Uh, right now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one's an Eminem song. Eminem? On, on, it's on just a random. Oh, yeah? It's a random shuffle. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Kind of Do you have, like, color. special tunes that you like to work out to? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd make Eminem, playlist. Eminem, yeah, yeah. Not Eminem usually. Playlist. No, my okay. playlist ended. Oh, yeah? Like, yeah just a little <laughs> nice variety there? Okay, yeah, awesome, yeah, awesome. a little all over the place. Well, Eminem, there you go. There's your jam. Hi, excuse me, what's your name? Kayla. Kayla, awesome. And uh, what are you listening to, Kayla? Um, actually, right now I'm watching Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds, nice. That's awesome. Sweet stuff. So, uh, what are you listening to normally on workouts? Do you have like best like workout playlist kind of things that you like to listen to? Um, I actually like to listen to some Macklemore. Oh, some Macklemore, awesome. That makes for a good workout playlist, I'm sure. Definitely. Well, I'm Ward with Ward of the Street, and there's your jam. Okay. Hi. Excuse me, there. Uh, Hi. What's your name? Yeah. Alec, okay, sweet. Uh, what song are you listening to there, if you don't mind? Uh, I'm, right now I'm listening to uh, Death of Me by Red. Death of Me by Red, awesome. Yeah. Sweet song, there we go. Well, there's your college jam. Hey, Matt, oh, good thing I ran into you. <laughs> I okay. into you. Hey, so what are you listening to on your headphones then? Um, I'm listening to uh, Switchfoot. Switchfoot? Afterlife. Switchfoot Afterlife, oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, there's your final college jam. <laughs> For KMSU Channel 19, I'm Ward of Ward in the Street, and bringing you your college jam. If that's any indication of the campus's musical preferences, tonight's Toga Dance should be a great time. Find their extended version of the segment on YouTube or Facebook. Theater students jumped right back into the swing of things this week with rehearsals for the production of Miss Julie. Elizabeth Hamm takes us behind the scenes. I am the mistress of this household, and I honor the servants down to my duty. A scandal. That's what you could call the play Miss Julie. It is a story about a young noblewoman and two of her servants in an intricate power when struggle. I dance, I want to partner with them. The power that transfers in this play is incredible. How much power transfer there is based on who's on top, who's on top, who's fighting to get on top. Change or stay here and I'll turn my back. Miss Julie is put on in the Black Box Theater, which adds to the intimate nature of the play. I think bringing the audience very close to that action and that activity really enhances that sense of realism and yes. naturalism that I think August Strindberg's playwright really meant to capture. The cast says Miss Julie is one play you should see with an open mind. You're watching life unfold, you're seeing something very personal come to life, and some people might take that personally, but if you come to enjoy this experience realizing that this is life, then I think that it will be easier than people who come for MSU Inside Out, I'm Elizabeth Ham. From April 8th through the 12th at 7.30 p.m. in the MSU Black Box Theater. For tickets or more information, you can call 858-3172. Catholic Campus Ministry is a new organization on campus that is trying to gain membership. Current membership is low, but those who have attended share their thoughts on this new organization. Catholic Campus Ministry or CCM has been meeting in the Old Little Flower School Conference Center at 7 p.m. Thursdays. Brady Wingenbach explains what the club is all about and so do other students. Catholic Campus Ministry is a place where young Catholic adults um, who are currently enrolled at Minot State, it's where you can go and meet with other Catholic students. Some of our friends even say that a lot of Catholics um, on campus, you, uh, you don't really know whether they're Catholic or not, they're just not really as op uh, open about it as the Lord wants us to be about it, because, you know, He does us, doesn't want us to hide under a little bushel basket, He wants us to be a light unto the world. Current members encourage other Catholics to join, because it may enrich their faith, they explain. Honestly, I would encourage other Catholic students to come, because sometimes it feels like you're on an island with your Catholic faith. I would encourage other, any other students to come, but Catholics especially because they can really express their faith and enjoy other people's company and their support and hear feedback and other perspectives and talk about things that you wouldn't get to talk about with just any other student and have them really understand and where you're coming from and participate in activities that are primarily Catholic, like praying the rosary or praying the chaplet and going to mass. We have the largest denomination on the face of the earth. 
And yet there are times where you'd, you'd swear you're the only one. Susan Thom explains why she wanted to start this organization. There was definitely interest out there and a desire to do it. And um, if they felt anything like I did, um, in a, I came from a private, co or a private high school. And so coming into a public university, um, there wasn't as many Catholics around as I had been used to. And certainly not ones I expressed it openly. So I kind of felt alone sometimes. So I wanted to start a ministry group for Catholics so we could all come together and commune and discuss Catholic issues and um, understand where we're all coming from. This is Zach Demers and Christopher Cap reporting for MSU Inside Out News. Anyone interested in joining should contact Susan Tome at susan.tome at my.minotstateu.edu for more information. For the rest of you like me that grow beautiful facial hair, you're going to enjoy this next interview that Ward has coming from you live in the Batcave. Thanks, Leon. I'm Ward, not on the street this time, live in the studio here. Joined with me today by Dan Hansen, founder of Beardstock. Uh, Dan, uh, what sort of uh, things are uh, about this uh, sixth year of Beardstock? Um, well, we got a lot of uh, the same things going on this year as we do every year. We got the beard contest, live music, free food, and uh, a lot of... Um, a lot of other things, but uh, this year we're trying out a couple things new. Uh, rib eating contest. We added a couple more uh, sections to the the beard contest, which will have the best mustache, and we'll have the uh, what else we're we gonna have? We're gonna have the um, best trimmed beard. So uh, yeah, get creative with that, and then we'll have the best fake beard again. Um, so yeah, lots of stuff this year. We got a photo booth back again. Um, we also have build a beard where you'll be able to come out, take some arts and crafts supplies, and build your own beard, uh, maybe compete in the fake beard contest, and uh, we, uh, what else do we got going on? A video game contest, and um, a lot more, so. Wow, okay, yeah, definitely lots of things going on around kind of the uh, main events, and uh, speaking of the main events, uh, what sort of uh, bands and stuff can we expect this year? Uh, well, as usual with our events, we have a variety of music. Uh, we're bringing in a couple of groups from uh, Minnesota, hip-hop artists called True Serva and J.P. Roquette. Um, and then we're bringing in a band called Children 183. They're like a pop-punk band from Minnesota. And we're also, uh, you know, we have a few local groups performing as well. So, Okay, definitely. So quite a wide a variety of music and stuff, it sounds like. Um, definitely. And this is, uh, as you said, the uh, sixth year of Beardstock. Um, what sort of is different about this year? And also, uh, who kind of are you uh, partnering with and stuff? Yeah, this is our sixth year, and this is our first year officially uh, partnering with the GMYCA, which is the nonprofit organization which we run all of our uh, funds through. Um, so if you want to make a tax-deductible donation, uh, that that is our official 501c3 name. Um, we're also partnering with Crew and Chi Alpha, a couple of campus ministries, um, who we've worked with for a couple of years now. They're helping out with the volunteers and things like that. So, yeah. okay, definitely. So it sounds like the volunteers definitely are a big part in kind of making this happen and stuff. Um, and I know they're not also just making one day happen, but also two days happen. Uh, where is sort of kind of the second day and stuff? Yeah, we're doing. Uh, we're trying out two days this year for the first time ever. We thought it might be a uh, something fun to do, so we're heading down to Dickinson. Uh, Tomorrow, actually, uh, we'll be at Dickinson State University um, in the ballroom, and we'll be uh, doing the same thing. We're actually doing it for free down there. Uh, somebody made a donation, so we're able to do the whole event for free. Um, and uh, we're raising money for the um, Trinity fire um, that happened down there at Dickinson Trinity. So, yeah. Definitely. Awesome. And so one more time, those event details, just real quick. Yeah, uh, Saturday at the Moose at 3 o'clock until 11 o'clock. Uh, the music's going to go till 10, and then we'll have a dance party featuring DJ Fat Mask Q. Some of you might know that guy. Uh, from 10 to 11, and uh, yeah, we're going to have free food, the rib eating contest, uh, the beard contest, the build a beard photo booth. Yeah, lots lots to check out. Uh, go to rockthelease.com for more information or follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Yeah, there we go. Rockthelease.com. Awesome. Thanks again, uh, Dan Hansen, for joining me today. And uh, we're going to go ahead and toss it right back to uh, Juan here with some more. Hey, thanks, Ward. Beardstock, it's going to be awesome. I've attended quite a few times, actually. I'm here with Nikki and Marley, and they're the co-directors of entertainment, uh, SGA. They have a really big event going on, the Toga Party. Tonight, it's at the Grand, correct? Yeah. yeah. What can we expect from the Toga Party, uh, especially a post-spring break Toga Party? 
Well, of course, there's no alcohol. It's an of event. Course, course. So we want to make sure that it's clarified that we don't have that. But regardless, we have so much fun with a whole bunch of our events. And it's Greek week, so all of the Greek life people have come and stepped up and have really helped us and really have promoted and made all of our events super fun. So wear a toga for sure because everybody will be in a toga so you won't feel like the odd man out in a toga. Mm -hmm. So it'll be fun and then there'll be our DJ, DJ Benno. He does a lot of different good music and we had a playlist and it's all yeah, that sounds that sounds like uh, sounds like a lot a lot of work. Uh, what what's the process? Especially you don't know, you know what students are gonna like. What's the process you guys have for knowing what students are gonna accept and what's gonna actually entertain them and you know what they're gonna show up for? How do you go about that? We try really hard to interact with students as much as possible. At a lot of our events, we will do post-event evaluations and just ask random audience members to fill it out and then we can record the data and see, did everyone love it? Did everyone not like it so much? Um, there's power in the numbers, so we also keep track of who's attending events, um, which events aren't well attended, and then when we plan in the spring, we plan for the whole next year and we take into account everything that's happened in the previous year mm -hmm. so that we can decide and book events based on kind of what happened the previous year. Uh, and uh, I heard it was your first year in SGA. What, how many years have you been part? Um, I have been a member of SGA since my freshman year and I'm now a junior, so three years. Uh -huh. I've planned events on campus for the past two years and my first year I was on Senate and it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's your favorite part? Both of you. You, you first, actually. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of my favorite parts of being a member of student government is the MSU life aspect. We get to plan a lot of fun events, um, share it with all of our friends. My job is having my friends come to stuff and hang out and have fun, and so it can't, it really can't get better than that. Real quick, what's your favorite? What's your favorite part? Um, getting to meet new people. Um, we get to meet everyone from different acts, entertainers, singers, songwriters, comedians, and getting to meet everybody on campus. We get to collaborate with so many people that it's just crazy. It's really fun. We get to know the whole student body and work to their needs. I remember one of my favorite parts was, yeah, going to dinner with all the entertainers mm -hmm. after and uh, ground round. Is it still ground round? Oh, yes. still ground round. <laughs> and, you know, just hanging out and talking, you know, how they got into their profession and stuff. That was always real fun to, to do. Well, thank you very much for joining us. They're at the toga party tonight at the Grand, correct? Yes. At 10 o'clock? Yes. All right, wear a toga. It should be a great time. And coming up on the rest of the show here, we have, uh, we'll have uh, the, the golf cap, captain of the golf team. He, they actually just got back from Vegas. We have a couple, we actually have a, uh, an All-American to recognize. And of course, we'll see if uh, spring is actually here to stay with weather. All coming up next after the break. Thank you to our underwriters. Walmart. At Walmart, you can save money so you can live better. MSU Hockey Club, the 2013 ACHA Men's Division I National Champions. Visit us online at msubeaverhockey.com or on Facebook and Twitter. Western Pacific Crane and Equipment, the authorized dealer for Manitowoc, Grove, and National Crane. The Center for Extended Learning. Our mission is to provide flexible, accessible, and quality lifelong learning opportunities. All-American Trophy, established in 1983, located on South Broadway for all your trophy and screen printing needs. The Pita Pit, sandwiches, soup, and salad. Fresh thinking, healthy eating. Art Main, women's clothing, accessories, and art supplies, located on Main Street. Midwest Oil Jobs, brings employers, retailers, and other professionals from the Midwest under one roof to connect like-minded individuals. Creative Property Management. Over 45 years of experience in managing properties and helping tenants find the right home. MSU Athletic Department, NCAA Division II. Promoting good character and a positive experience. Red Rising. MSU Red and Green. Monarch State University's official student-run newspaper. Digital Office Center. Offices located in Minot and Bismarck provides the complete line of Xerox equipment, supplies, and services. Buffalo Wild Wings, Wings Beer Sports, located on South Broadway across from Walmart. 
Be seen, be heard on the Alshire, Black Box, and Amphitheater stages. MSU Theater, where we tell the world's stories. MSU Art Department, stimulating creativity campus-wide by providing exhibitions and art events. Fiance Bridal, located downtown Minot, and now you can shop online. NDAD, help for people with disabilities and health challenges. Pepsi of Minot, the local Pepsi Cola bottling company serving the North Dakota areas of Minot, Dickinson, Devil's Lake, Botno, and Hedinger. Rick Jewelry, where you'll shimmer and shine. Watney Realtors, a full service real estate agency handling residential, commercial, and investment properties. Spicy Pie, pizza, grinders, beer. Located in the Beaver Ridge Plaza. RL specializes in creating custom made vintage mod children's and baby clothes. Happy Joe's Pizza and Ice Cream. Good time to be together. KCJB AM, 910 AM, Minot News and Information Station. KIVZ FM, Z94, Minot's only station for today's hit music. 97 Kicks FM, today's hot new country. KZPR FM, Minot's Rock Station, 105.3 The Fox. KMXA FM, Minot's best music mix, Mix 99.9. SOS Image, improving the health and self esteem of every client. Grizzlies, the place for wood fried food, friends, and family. Welcome back to MSU Inside Out. He's a man that probably had a more interesting spring break than the rest of us. Joining me today is senior golf captain, Cody Dusher. Thanks for joining me today, Cody. Thanks for having me. Now, when I say you had a more interesting spring break than the rest of us, it's probably because you got back from Las Vegas. So uh, tell me about the trip a little bit. Uh, lots of golf. Lots of sun and golf. Yeah? Um, played 36 holes, I think, five of the nine days we were there. So oh. pretty tuckered out and getting ready for the season coming up. Now, when you say you played 36 holes, did you keep going to different courses or was it the same course every day? No, played early in the morning and then uh, would have a little bit of a lunch and then go back out at afternoon. Okay, uh, did you see anything that you, you need to improve on? Um, just, you, you're just kind of knocking off rust at this point. Yeah. Um, you know, you go out there and you try to get the feels back from 100 yards in. That's kind of the hardest thing for the rest of the team, so that's kind of what we were working on. We were you, still trying to shoot low, so. Yeah, and how did you guys do as a team? Um, not bad, better than, than I had you know, assumed that we would do right away, but I think we came out all, all more confident than we went in with, so. Like you said, you're knocking off the rust. Did you see, did you see a greater change from the fall to the spring? Um, in a way, yeah, you have things that you kind of forget and then, um, over the winter and then you kind of come back with a, a, a fresh mind and then a new way of looking at things. So um, in a way, I think we have improved just over those nine days that we were there because we can work on the little things that might improve our game in the long run. And uh, you, I guess you're, you're golfing a lot, obviously. How early in the morning did you have to get up? Uh, about 7, 7.30, just to get out of the first tee box. So. And you would golf? Jeez, how much time is that? Till about 6 o'clock at night, 6, 7 o'clock at I'm night. I'm sure you're pretty tuckered out after that. Oh, yeah. Now you guys are heading to Nebraska tomorrow. You're leaving for Nebraska. Yep. What are you expecting there? Um, tough competition. Uh, I think every team uh, in our conference went on a, a spring break trip uh, just to play golf. Um, so I guess what we're expecting is just to compete with the top teams, um, just to see, what, see what, how much they've learned over the, the time off and see if we can duke it out with them. Yeah, I'm looking forward to you coming back and finding out what's going on with the team. And I'm also excited to get on the golf course myself. Really pumped out. We've been, oh, thanks for joining us today, yeah, by the way, Cody. No uh, we've been talking a lot about sports. Uh, and here to tell us a little bit more, more about sports is Leon. Leon, what you got? Hey, all I know is I wish I was out during spring break getting 36 of holes of golf in myself. Right. <laughs> Uh, Minot State softball dropped two games against in-state rival University of Mary, falling 2-9 and 6-9. The loss snapped the Beavers' 10-game winning streak that began back on February 24th with a win against the University of Mary. The other nine wins during the streak came while the Lady Beavers traveled to Florida for the National Training Center Spring Tournament. Minot State outscored their opponents in Florida by a combined score of 63-17. The Beavers get ready to begin a six-game road trip Saturday against Southwest Minnesota. MSU is scheduled to have their first home game April 5th. 
The MSU baseball team traveled to Arizona during their spring break for nine games, going four and five on the trip. A multitude of errors and an inability to get consistent offense going has plagued Mina in the early stages of the season. However, one consistent spark for the Beavers has been the play of by junior shortstop Nicholas Hamerl, who leads the Beavers at the plate with a 364 average. The Beavers sit at six and seven on the season as they head into conference play. MSU will have their first NSIC game of the season Saturday with a doubleheader against the University of Sioux Falls. The snow has melted from the turf of Herb Parker Stadium, which means it's almost time for spring football practice to begin. After a 2-9 season, the Beavers will be under new leadership with head coach Todd Hoffner, who was hired after former coach Paul Rudolph left for the offensive coordinator position at the University of North Dakota. Minot returns 10 starters in total from last season, 5 on offense and 5 on defense. Including those returning is junior quarterback Zach Cunha, who will go into his third season as the Beavers' signal caller. MSU is just 5-18 and 18 since becoming a full-time Division II program in 2012. The first practice for the Beavers will be April 2nd at 5.40 a.m. The annual Red and White Spring Game is set to be played May 2nd at 7 p.m. in Herb Parker Stadium. Carly Bogue is still impressing as a Beaver. Even though her career has come to an end, Bogue became the school's first ever Women's Basketball Coaches Association All-American, earning honorable mention honors. During her senior season, Bogue averaged 22 points and 11 rebounds per game. During her four-year career, Bogue became the first MSU men's or women's player to score 1,500 points and grab 1,000 rebounds. She also set the NSIC conference record for points in a season and points in a conference game, as well as Minot State's single game scoring record. I can tell you guys, I have a feeling with a lot more All-American things, there's a lot more of postseason awards for Carly Bogue coming her way. Absolutely. 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 She was an absolute force this se season, and you know what? It was wonderful to watch. It Just was great to, to watch. She deserved everything that she's going to get. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Thanks, Leon. Again. And, uh, well, we have, you know, Winter Sports All-American. Maybe we can start, you know, we have golf, we have baseball, we have uh, track and field. Maybe we can pull an All-American out of that group. Hoping so. Yeah. Speaking of spring sports... It's, we've shown, we've had signs, but is it here to stay? Well, you know, North Dakota, this is where we live, and it gets kind of shaky every once in a while, so why don't we go over to the Weather Center and figure out what's going on. Thanks, Chris. All right. So, as you can see, uh, right now, we're going to be about, we're about 29 degrees, uh, so, you know, it's kind of cold still, but um, it's not too bad. The sun is out, it's shining nicely. Um, and then it's about 23 degrees, how it feels. Uh, sunrise is still around that 7.30, and sunset's about 8 o'clock. Now, uh, tonight, we're going to find oh, a green screen, which is lovely. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, right now, we have Minot at 15 uh, degrees, which is nice. Uh, Williston is about, oh, 20 degrees and 18. But Williston and Dickinson, you're going to see, does actually have um, possibilities of snow tonight. So it shouldn't be too bad, but you're going to possibly get some there. Uh, now, tomorrow, uh, we're going to st get stay up in the upper 30s, uh, lower 40s. Um, we are pretty cloudy across the state. Um, but again, the temperature isn't too bad. There is that chance of snow still. Now, uh, Friday night, we're going to even get colder, sitting around the 15 degree mark in Grand Forks and Fargo, and uh, about upper 20s in Williston uh, Dickinson. Uh, now, um, Saturday is a very wonderful day. We're going to get a little bit of spring, finally. Uh, 59 degrees in Williston, 59 in Minot. We're seeing 59s and lower 60s, which is absolutely wonderful at this time of year. Uh, it'll be partly cloudy, but we will get a little bit of sun. And if you're going to Beardstock, um, you might have a little bit of a nice day to go with that. So that's wonderful. Saturday night, uh, we're going to start dipping down a little bit. Oh, so Sunday, sorry. We're going to be dipping down a little bit into the 30s, um, but, and possibilities of snow intermittently around the state. Um, and uh, actually, we're going, it'll be a little bit cold, but don't worry, because as the week continues on, you'll see that we have 24 degrees on Monday with clouds, but then we're going to start moving on up from 35 up to 42. And actually, by on that, I've seen forward, and it's like 50 degrees uh, up to upper 50s. So. so just like we can always expect in North Dakota, we just never know what's going to happen. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> 20s one day, 60s the next day, 30s the next day. It's okay. We have to live with it, I suppose. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Chris. No problem. Now we uh, we've had a pretty good show today. We have some upcoming events. Uh, the State M Basketball Tournament, that yep. starts tomorrow. Yep, that's actually weekend. playing in it. Are you? Yeah, I am. I got a team in it. We're probably going to lose. Um, <laughs> got to believe in yourself. That's right. Uh, Miss Julie, that play we talked about earlier in the show, that uh, starts April 8th through the 12th with showtimes at 730 each night. So 
Yep, uh, we also have uh, exhibits in Hartnet in the Hartnet Hall, which just upstairs from the studio, and exhibits in the library. Those are arts uh, exhibits. One of them is put on by the teachers. Should be pretty cool stuff. I highly suggest you go look at that. There's also the Togo Party tonight. That's at the Grand International at 10 o'clock. And uh, are you going to go? Uh, I don't think so. I got some stuff that I got to get done. I got some studying I have to do. I don't studying. say that very often, but I have to do it tonight. <laughs> now, uh, unfortunately, this is my senior year, and it's kind of been one of the toughest years I have put forth. So, I mean, if it had to come, it had to, you know, it's going to come now. But yeah. it's just very frustrating. But anyway, uh, we have a uh, song of the week brought to you by KMSU. That's our radio station here at the broadcast department. It's Tesla by Alt J. Thank you so much for joining us on another week of MSU Inside Out. We'll see you next week.